Hey party people, it's Adrian, and we're going to visit Neo, the Renaissance woman. A winding fall by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. A leaping and hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. And if I ever lose my legs, I won't moan and I won't beg. Today I'm talking to Neo, the Renaissance woman. Uh, we're going to ask her about her YouTube channel and then about her musical instruments. Can you please tell us about your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is pretty much showcasing my different interests. I'm somebody with multiple interests. What can we find on that channel? You can find my singing, my playing, my dancing, and it's also some art. So, Neo, I wanted to ask you about your musical instruments and your singing. What was the first instrument that you learned how to play? The ukulele. Tell us about the ukulele, all about the ukulele. Have you learned how to spell it yet? <laughs> U-K-U-L-E-L-E. -L -E. Awesome. <laughs> it's a four-stringed instrument. It's smaller than the guitar. And... Um, it originated in Hawaii, but it was inspired by a Portuguese instrument. How many different kinds of ukuleles do you have? I can't even count. <laughs> I have so many different kinds. I, I got smaller ones that are called sopranos, and then I got something a little smaller than this called a concert, and this is a tenor. And then I also got a baritone, which is tuned like a guitar. I'm so happy, happy and lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worrying don't agree. Things that bother you never bother me. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Aha! Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Oh, what's this instrument here? This is a tenor banjo. It's a four-string banjo, um, and it can be tuned different ways, but I prefer to tune it like a guitar. How many different types of banjos are there? As far as I know, there's actually probably, there's probably four different types. There's the traditional five-string banjo, and then there's a banjo uke, and then there's a tenor banjo, and then there's a guitar banjo, a six-string banjo. Wow. What's a banjo uke? Banjo uke is tuned just like the ukulele. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went up higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. Wow, are you serious? Do you play an accordion? Yes, I do. I have a basic knowledge of it. How did you learn how to play accordion? I bought one one day secondhand, and I decided to learn some chords on it. Let's see, and you learned, uh, okay, have we gone in order here? You learned about ukulele, and then banjo, and then accordion? Yes. How does one learn how to play an accordion? Well, um... It's important to have a little basic knowledge in piano, which I'm really bad at, but I am familiar with it anyway, so that helps a lot with the accordion. So, you already know how to play string instruments and then you're playing guitar. Yes. Tell us about your experience with the guitar. So, I started off with the ukulele and my uncle came over to my house one day and he was impressed by my ukulele playing. So, he gave me this guitar and he taught me basics on it and then I took off from there. Are there different kinds of guitars? 
that there you... actually is. There's a lot of different acoustics, and then there's electric guitars, and then there's also bass guitars too that are four string. So how many different guitars have you learned how to play? Just two different ones. I play acoustic and then I play a little bit of bass for fun. Okay, I thought we were finished talking about musical instruments, but what are these birds right here? They're ocarinas. This, we can play a melody in one of them, and then the other one harmonizes. Do you play them at the same time? Yes. Wow, have I ever even seen this? I don't think I have. There's all kinds of different ocarinas too. I can't really <laughs> tell you how many. <laughs> uh, all right, what else do you want to show us here? I got a an Egyptian tam tambourine made out of a cattle gut. Wow. I'm kind of smelly. <laughs> and then I got a rhythm ring. You can put this on your ring and then you play it while you're strumming a guitar or a uke. Okay. And then this is a penny whistle or a tin whistle made out of tin. They're called penny whistles because they used to be a penny. <laughs> oh, really? My goodness, I have no idea how to play this. I think I know what it's called. Can you tell us? Oh, it's a jaw harp or a Jew harp. It has so many different other names. Well, thank you, Nao, for sharing your musical instruments with us. Oh, well, thank you for having me on your channel. If you like the music, please check out my channel if you're interested. And check out All Right, Adrian, for more interviews in the future. Bye. Bye-bye. And if I ever lose my hunt, lose my plow, lose my land, Have to